Hey guys, it's Heidi. Um, I haven't done a vlog in a while, so I figured I'd go ahead and do one. Um, first things first, I apologize about our birds in the background. They're active right now, so um, if that bothers you, I apologize. But um, I haven't done a vlog in a while, so I, that's why I wanted to do one. Um, recently, I was named a Fitfluential Ambassador, and most people are like, well, what's a Fitfluential Ambassador? Um, basically, my job, I don't even want to call it a job, but my duty is to link brand names to you guys, my listeners, my readers, my watchers, um, and show you new products that are happening and just kind of linking the brands to you guys. Um, I'll be doing some reviews, things like that, so that's just in a nutshell. I'll go into a little bit more detail at a later date, but um, most recently they asked us, you know, what makes us a good fit, fit fluential ambassador and also, you know, what tips would we give to newbies that are, that's my cuckoo clock. Um, sorry about that. Um, what tips would we give to newbies that are trying to get into athletics and things like that? Just become active. Um, and actually I've been asked this recently even by just friends of mine, you know, how do you get up every day to go do this? Um, so that's why I want to go over a few things. Uh, number one, I prefer to be a runner. Um, I know I'm getting into triathlons more now, so I do the biking and swimming too, but I'm going to kind of focus on running right now in this vlog um, just because it's the easiest thing. Um, why I'm going to focus on running is it doesn't really require anything but you and a pair of shoes. Um, you know, the streets are free. Go out and run, walk, do whatever you want. So that's the big thing. It's not a huge costly endeavor to get started. So um, that's just something to, to keep in mind. Um, you know, when I first started running, I had a pair of trail shoes and I went out running in trail shoes. I had no idea what I was doing. I had the, you know, just a regular cotton t-shirt, cotton shorts, just went at it. Um, I've learned a lot since then, but that's where you can start. There's nothing saying that you can't start there um, and progress from there. That's the great thing about it. Um, you know, something I do recommend would be to go to a local store for shoes and get fitted or like I even drove up to Cleveland, which is about an hour away, but it was worth it for me. Um, but to begin with, just get out there. That's the big thing. So let's start with some of my tips. Um, number one, you do not have to be a super athlete or runner to become an athlete. Um, as a child, I rode horses and I did dance, but that was the extent of my athletic ability. I couldn't make it to the corner without passing or feeling like I was going to pass out. Um, you know, I in junior high, I did shot put and disc. At, <laughs> I am 5'5", five, five. I currently weigh about 120 something pounds. I was even smaller back then, so, but I couldn't run. So I figured, hey, I'd do shot put and disc. Stupid, I know. Um, but that just goes to show you, I am not a super athlete. I was never a super athlete. You can do it. Um, you know, the first run that I went out for, I, oh, it was bad. I. Um, I don't want to scare you guys. That's not the point. Um, but, you know, I, I ran. I remember coming back to the home. I laid in the bathroom on the floor for, I kid you not, probably about an hour. I was so hot. I wanted to vomit. I felt my boobs were falling out. It was just bad. But you got to start somewhere. And that just goes to show you, I wasn't ever a huge athlete. And to this day, I get out, I do my workouts, things like that. I have a ton more to learn, and I'm always learning, and I'm not fast. You know, people, that I hate to say it because when people say, oh, you run, you know, a half marathon or this, that, you know, you don't triathlons, my, my disclaimer is, yeah, but I'm slow. I shouldn't say that I know that, but it just, I'm just trying to show you that you don't have to be, uh, Olympic athlete to say you're an athlete or to get out there and do it. Just do it, as Nike would say. Um, number two, sign up for a race or sign up for something that's going to hold you accountable for it. Um, have a realistic race. Don't say, oh, I'm going to run a marathon in a month. Not going to happen. But I um, signed up for a 5K about two to three months after I started running. Um, it gave me drive to get out there. 
Um, not to mention I'm kind of frugal, so I already put that money forward. I'm going to run, you know, and you get a cool shirt. So that's a cool thing. Um, but I would recommend signing up for a race. Uh, number three, find a training buddy of some sort. Um, it's a little tough to do this, but I think you can do it. Um, you know, up the street, I had a neighbor that was willing to meet me every morning. She was a little bit older. She had a history of running, but she was trying to get back into running. So that was a cool thing. So we were kind of going the same pace. That's the biggest problem is they either want to go faster or slower than you. You know, you need to be able to work together. But the cool thing about having a running buddy is that, you know, just like the race, it holds you accountable. Um, they... They, they meet you in the morning, you know, we'd say, hey, meet such, such time, you know, you don't want to let them down and you don't want to let yourself down. So um, that's the cool thing about it. Uh, another thing, too, you can do is join a site called DailyMile.com. I'm actually a newbie on the site, even though I've been running for years. Um, but it's pretty cool because everyone gives each other encouragement. You log your workouts. Um, my OCD-ness, I love to keep, you know, everything kind of set in form and know what my numbers are and crunch the numbers and things like that. So that's the cool thing. Um, so in addition to having a running buddy, um, or if you don't have a running buddy, I recommend Daily Mile because that's kind of like your running buddies. Um, number four, which kind of leads into that, keep a journal of what you're doing. Uh, I don't normally keep a journal or anything if I'm not training for something specific. I still wear my Garmin, but I don't necessarily log everything. But I found when I first started running, I logged absolutely everything. I logged temperature, wind, um, my route, how I felt, what I wore, because then I can go back. So, oh, it was 65 degrees this day. What should I wear? Because, you know, it's kind of a, you're trying to figure things out. So that's pretty cool. Not to mention, you can see how far you've come. You can go back and be like, wow, you know, last week I could only run from here to the second block. And now I can do the third block and things like that. So it kind of is cool that it, you know, shows your progress and things like that. And like I said, if you're OCD like me, keeps everything organized and it's just great. Go, once again, talking about Daily Mile, you can do this on Daily Mile. So um, something to check out. Um, number five. This is something I still have problems with to this day, so I don't want to preach, get too preachy about this, but don't worry about how others judge you. You know, when you're out running and things like that and you see people and you're probably thinking, oh, they probably think I'm a fat ass that's trying to, you know, don't worry about that. You are out there for yourself. You are faster than anyone that is sitting on their couch right now not doing anything. So just get out there and do it. Um, I think going to a gym is a little bit more daunting personally because there seems to be, you know, more people around. And I actually recently talked about this or wrote about this on a blog about joining the Y. You know, it, it's kind of intimidating. You go in there, but you have to remember everyone there has the same ultimate goal is to better the goals to better themselves and make themselves healthier. So chances are, you know, they, they'd be more encouraging of you. They could help you out, ask questions, things like that. Um, you know, and the cool thing is, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but you know, when I was doing my laps the other day, I actually was kind of passing some people. So there are people of every level there, you know, you're probably not going to be the worst. So don't worry about it. Just don't worry about how others judge you. Get out there and do it. Um, another thing, and this is not to be a downer, but just know that it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. You know, anything that's worth doing is difficult and it requires sacrifice. Um, you know, like I said, that first few times, man, it was rough going out. And even to this day, I don't, you know, when I first start getting going on my runs, I have to hit, I have to hit that small wall and climb that wall every time, you know, because it's not necessarily the, something that comes easy with me, but I get it done. Um, I also like to put something in perspective for you guys too. Three weeks ago, I started a push-up challenge. I couldn't do push-ups. I couldn't do a push-up if, if my life depended on it. Um, the first day, I was literally crying, on the floor crying. I'm like, how in the heck am I gonna do this? But I make it attainable and I just keep at it. And now I'm up to 45 push-ups within like a 10 minute time span. It's making progress, it's gonna come. Just know that it is going to be difficult, but it will come. Um, and number seven, have goals. You know, 
the goal is finish this race, things like that. Once again, you want realistic goals. But not only do you want to have goals, but you want to remember that you're doing it for your health and to have fun. Sometimes people lose sight of that. And, you know, I am all about having a good time. You know, if I feel like, man, this just kind of sucks. I don't want to go out running and things like that. If you see it as a chore, that's the way it's going to be. And it's not going to be fun. Keep things fresh. Try different things. Try different run routes. Things like that. So just keep it positive. Um, remember why you're doing it. You're not trying to kill yourself. You're trying to stay active and healthy and happy. So... Um, I think that's about it when it comes to my seven tips. I'm sure I could think of a ton more, but for now, those are my tips. Um, so I encourage you, if you're thinking about it, even if you're not thinking about it, get out there, get active, you know, do something because it's going to be a heck of a lot easier to do it today than tomorrow. So, um, that's about it. Uh, keep smiling and be grateful guys. <laughs>